Let's start off with the, the coffee market and coffee prices because just looking at uh, the previous year, you had coffee prices more, almost doubling and you're looking at a situation yes. right now where you've got uh, coffee prices coming under pressure. That's, of course, what you've cited in your profit warning. Yes, yes. Is this as a result of supply side or demand side factors? Well, this is a demand side uh, issue uh, because most of our coffee goes to Europe and uh, I think the financial crisis is finally getting, we're finally getting to feel the effects of the financial crisis. Uh, but also, I must mention that the prices were really high uh, in, in the history of coffee prices last year and, and sustaining that was going to be fairly difficult uh, because our coffees are normally used in blends and uh, I mean that was a very high price. So we are finding that the buyers are looking for alternative uh, cheaper coffee and somehow bypassing Kenyan coffee. And of course, there's also uh, an issue on this. Yeah. No, no, no. Do continue, actually. Yeah, there's also an issue on the supply side where our coffee is fairly limited. Okay, it is expensive and fairly limited, uh, and it has come under pressure in the recent past uh, due to real estate and things like that. Um, so we we have a fairly very good commodity, which is a little bit scarce, and uh, the high prices were, were not maintained this year. What is the plan for coffee within Sassini Tea? Uh, company because you have decreased uh, your acreage in terms of production you've also as a result had falling sales last year you had uh, you had you know production coming down to 863 million tons uh, tons what is the plan now in terms of how coffee is going to contribute to the company's earnings in the future yeah well we want to continue producing coffee we are still producing coffee uh, currently and we want to do our best to produce as much coffee as we can of course coffee is a fairly difficult crop to grow because it's affected by various uh, various various factors you know if the rains come late uh, and it's too dry then we have to irrigate the coffee if um, if there's too much rain at the wrong time we can get a lower supply of coffee so it's a it's a crop which technically and agronomically is is fairly challenging to grow but we intend to continue growing coffee as a substantial part of our business as, as we move forward of course, we've seen this drought in the, in the United States affect soft commodity prices across the board. And, and price volatility appears to be something that is here to stay. We've got this upward trend in, in soft commodity prices. Are you looking at a situation right now where you're going to have to hedge more aggressively? I mean, what is your strategy in order to manage the volatility? Because this has been something that has been hurting companies like yourself for some time. Yeah, well, as you're aware, we've had our strategy to really diversify our incomes. And uh, we've got other income streams, for example, from the local distribution of value-added products. We intend to look at, uh, at additional exports into the rest of Africa. Uh, we are looking at uh, increasing the growth from our uh, coffee lounges. So this diversification strategy is still ongoing. We also have our dairy uh, unit, which is we're looking at upscaling that. And, and that way we hope at least we can manage the, the vagaries of, of, of having just one or two commodities which you are, which you are dealing with. Uh, this is a strategy which we mooted uh, slightly uh, over five years ago, and uh, I think it has been paying off dividends by leveling off our, our um, uh, evening out our income uh, levels. But apart from that, we've also got strategies on the technology side, the farming technology side, where we've been looking at precision farming, uh, whereby we're looking at providing the optimum amount, amount of nutrients to our coffee uh, farms so that we can maximize on the, on the production there. So we're using agronomy, we're using diversification. All this is to help us uh, reduce the, the vagaries of commodity prices which are not within our control. On the cost side of the equation, we saw your cost of sales, that of course is just one of the key line items, yeah. uh, increasing yes. by around 14% in the previous year. You yes, cited yes. that cost yeah. continued to hit your earnings. Yes. Uh, to yes. what extent are you seeing yes. costs rising right now? Well, costs are rising. Kenya, in general, has been a fairly uh, expensive um, econ economy to, to operate in because we have uh, a lot of our inputs which are denominated in foreign currency. For example, the oil. We are oil importers, uh, and, and, and thus we are affected by the cost of, the cost of fuel. Um, but going forward, we have uh, made certain provisions. For example, we are looking at uh, uh, generation of our own electricity from hydro in one of our farms. Okay, that is a strategy that we are trying to look at. We're also looking at uh, using coffee husks, uh, briquettes, uh, adding value to our coffee husks and making briquettes, and that way we hope at least to reduce the cost of power. Um, and these are some of the things that we're looking at uh, at the end of the day to manage our costs. We have a big challenge because on the labor side, the costs have been fairly high. 
Uh, the unions have been negotiating fairly uh, steep increases, but we are looking at really negotiating much more with them and telling them we cannot sustain uh, very high increases, which we cannot pass those increases on to the final consumer because we're not in control of that of that end of the. I mean, what, the where chain. are you in negotiations right now? When you're saying that they're looking at perhaps above inflation wage increases, we've seen inflation coming back quite dramatically. Uh, what yes. are the demands from the trade unions? Well, we normally get demands of approximately 12 percent. Eh? on an annual basis. This is on uh, every two-year basis when we negotiate the CBA agreements. Uh, and uh, this is fairly high, actually. When you talk about these initiatives that have been put in place to bring down cost, as you say, creating your own power yeah. on the hydro side, yeah. uh, yeah. when are we going yeah. to start seeing these initiatives coming through well, in the numbers? Well, in the next one, one, two, three, uh, in the next two to three years, we expect some of these to go uh, to, to, to start coming on stream. We hope because this is the plan. Uh, they take quite some time, you know, with all the feasibility studies, the, the feasibility studies that need to be done, uh, the equipment that needs to be procured. So it's it somehow does not it cannot happen in the next one year or so. We expect in two to three years that we start seeing this this coming on stream. Thank you so much for that update. As yeah. as always, Dr. Yeah. Caesar Mwangi, managing yeah. director of Sassini Team.